Ableton gang, here's everything you need to know about the new Splice integration. Here we go, we got a project and now you'll see under places we have a new tab called Splice. When you click on it, it's gonna load up the Splice menu here. And as you drag this, it's gonna actually update in real time, right? There's a lot of things we can do in here. We can search for sounds using samples or clips in our projects, or we can start browsing by category. You can go through your library here of all the sounds that you have, and you can drag them right into your project by just clicking and dragging as you normally would. And you can obviously sort through these like you'd be able to with the Splice app, just as you'd expect. You have your likes, you even have your collections as well, and you can refresh if there's anything new that you've recently got. You have your settings as well, which is where you're gonna log into your account. And I'm not gonna open that, otherwise you're gonna see all my details. But even if you don't have a subscription, you can still use a free account. You just have to have an account, right, to use this. And what's cool is there's over 2,600 samples that are included in here for us Ableton gang that are all free. If we go back to our home here, and let's say we wanna start browsing by category, like vocals, for instance. This Ableton included one right here is going to show all of the included and these are 100% free. Let's check out a couple of these. Do you love me? That's fire. So you see, if we go just through the vocals here, these are all the ones that are included, and that's just for the vocals. Another cool thing is you can use these forward and back buttons to go through your history, what you've been going through. So I hit the back button, now we can go back to the drums. We can start in the drums category and start searching here. And here's some of the included ones that Ableton added as well. Let's check some of these out. That's a fire 808 right there. Let's go back one more time. I wanna check out some of the synths. And when you go through here in the Ableton included, you might even recognize some of these names. For instance, the Soul Surplus. Got another one by Soul Surplus. A couple of them, in fact. But you could still search for your own sounds if you want to. Let's type in dreamy and see what comes up here. There's nothing in the Ableton included, but that's fine. We can turn that off and go through the regular splice menu here. And you can go through all your filters and dial it in exactly how you want by your key, BPM, genre, instruments, one shots or loops. And you can even pick the different genres right here. What's cool is you can see I have zero credits, right? I'm not subscribed to any Splice account on this account that I'm using right now to demonstrate this for you guys, but it's still gonna allow us to preview these different sounds, even though these are the ones that are paid. But if we try to like throw this in our clip, it's gonna say, hey, you need to view a plan and pick something out. But the fact that it allows us to even listen to these is cool. So you could sort these by random, most recent, most popular, most relevant. And you could even sort them by like the file name and things like this. It's pretty dope. I mean, they added it all in here and it's working really fast. As you can see, sounds dope. Or you could go down here as well and you could start organizing it by the keys, how many bars. You can adjust the volume of the preview. You could even click the synth bass sub distorted. You could click these in right here and dial it in from here if you'd rather do that as well. So let's take a look at this search feature because this is pretty dope. So I got a melody here. I'm just going to go ahead and actually flatten this out. Let's take a listen to this before we throw it in here. So we're now we're going to drag this in right here and it's going to start searching and processing the sample looking for things that would go with it it pops up with a little reference thing here and i'm guessing it'll let you listen to it back there you go from here you can choose to delete this audio and do the search all over again if you'd like and if i hit back oh look at that it even saves our reference so the back button the history button really does work well here let's listen back to this and if we press play we can hear if they fit together that fits. Let's turn off drums though. Let's look for an instrument. Let's go for synth. Let's see if we can find a synth that would fit together with it. F 
fait. Sounds like that Oliver Heldens song right there, but you can see these are fitting with it somewhat. And if you want to start another reference here, you can just take another sample, drag it over top, and you'll see it'll say drop here. And it'll start referencing the new one there. So they got this thing dialed in, but it doesn't just have to be an audio track. You can also use MIDI. So I have the bass MIDI here as well. So let's drag this over and there we go. Let's make sure the reference is right. Let's see how it sounds actually. Since it's just MIDI, it doesn't look like it's giving us any reference back because it doesn't know what instrument was in here, right? It just has that MIDI. The fact that Ableton included all those free samples for us in there, just makes this thing even better. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see all of the updates that came in live 12.3, check out this video next. Otherwise, check out the whole Ableton 12 and 12.3 playlist where I break down every single feature in detail.